And good morning. It is now 10.01 and uh, 64 degrees, and it's still quite a bit of rain out there, so y'all be careful out on the roads. Turn on your headlights, your wipers, increase your following distance, and watch out for standing water. Lots of standing water on the roadways <laughs> this morning. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, and we have uh, truly we do have on the serious note. There is lots of flooding, especially out in the county. There are some bridges washed out. Uh, there's the uh, earlier this morning there was a fatality wreck uh, out in the country, and uh, a, a lot of uh, down here in the, what we call the flats is uh, the water is up on the roadway. So be careful going through there and under the trestle. Uh, on uh, Shelton Avenue right there. There's always water in that way, too. So extra special care as you go out this morning. And it's time for Downtown on Tap with Marin Tomlin from the Downtown Statesville Development Corporation. How's good that? Good morning. How is everyone? I'm good. Good. <laughs> good. Great. Good, good, good. So, yeah, so, we've got some special guests with us today. Yes, you do. Who have you got? We're kicking off the holiday shopping season. Yay. Uh, we have Gloria Hager with Gigi's Art Frames and Gifts. The queen. The queen. That's, that's right. right. That's right. So that's very clear. And, and we have Adam Dykstra. <laughs> Hi. From Not related to? Lenny. Lenny, <laughs> who Lenny was a, I was thinking this morning, wasn't he baseball? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Uh, with Roots Outdoors. Yep. Um, and we're just excited to have them to kind of talk about what they have going on and, and, and encourage people to continue to come and shop local and support our, our independent retailers in downtown Statesville. So. Absolutely. Um, Gloria, we'll start with you. Okay. So okay. you've been in downtown for how long? Um, well, I started in about 1960, I believe. Really? Part time. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. At, <laughs> when she asked how long the question yeah. was, okay. Uh, at Peggy's Dress Shop when I was in high school. So I've been here a long time, and then I was in the mall when it opened. But we've been down here for around 30 years. Yeah, love it. And definitely a destination shop if there ever was one in downtown. And we love having. Well, what was Frame Gallery and evolved into Gigi's and right. um, just a wonderful store. And so tell us a little bit about some of the different things that people can um, shop for. Well, I was trying to think of some new things that we have. Mike Lassiter, who's a local attorney, has just written a great new book. It's called um, Disappearing um, Americana. Let me make oh, sure. Oh, really? Our Disappearing America, Vanishing Americana. I'll get it right in a minute. <laughs> and he had done one for North Carolina, and now he's done with one for South Carolina. He goes in every county, and he makes pictures of things that are disappearing and then has some words about it. And I was surprised at how related I was to the South Carolina one because we all went to the beach. There's something in every county there, so it's great. It makes a great Christmas present. He's happy to personalize it. Um, you can come by and pick up one. We'll have him personalize it and gift wrap it for you. Um, is this uh, it right here? This this is it. Let's show. Oh, that's what I forget. We well, were just not on right. the radio the or camera? on Facebook yeah. Live. It's the called a South there. Carolina <laughs> portrait, and it just it's a perfect gift for couples or anyone. And this. There we go. I also had an uh, instructor, a uh, teacher oh. from Mitchell College that has just also written. Oh, we're still on. Mic. There we are. We are. I can, okay. We can see you. Okay. But you can still talk. Okay. That's right. Um, <laughs> okay. Dee Dee Dunst, who has worked for Mitchell College for many, many years and has now retired, has written a children's book. It's called Grandy and Her Silly Birds. You want to do that? And she also will come in and sign. We'll be having a book signing for her. <laughs> We're fine. At, we're following all COVID guidelines. Right. Right. Um, so we're excited about that. Um, Wait, just just for a moment then. I have a lot to but, say. Well, I know, but <laughs> put a, since you said you had a lot of COVID items, that's an opportunity for oh, you to yes. show your mask. Well, she said they're, they're following all the COVID guidelines. Oh, oh, oh. But oh. they do have a really cute well, we um, actually, holiday. Yes, we actually do have uh, like Christ Christopher Radko. <laughs> Because she looks so good. We do have a Christopher <laughs> Radko COVID um, Santa, if you want to remember this year. Uh, so, uh, but that would make a, a, a great gift for a doctor, because I think he has done a doctor's <laughs> thing, because they've really been through it. Oh, one thing, we have just lots of new gifts, tons of masks, um, just stocking stuffers, small gifts, big gifts. 
um, just about anything that you would want. Lots of gifts from Nan that are fun. So, um, and the most beautiful artwork uh, that you can ever find. And I have a absolute. piece in my house that I bought several years ago from Gigi's um, during an art crawl. And don't ever give me a glass, too much glasses of wine, because then, I'm, then I get on a payment plan we with Gloria's. Like, we always, to buy like, artwork. To, we I always mean, like to see We always like to see Marion during the wine walk. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, these are great. very successful. See, Deb, <laughs> Deb, Deb, Deb was, she was, used to be, she used to keep up with me. But we yeah. have. We I, have, I have this local cow artists in my house. And is it wonderful? I love my cow. It's. I'll have to like put it on Facebook for <laughs> Is he housebroken? He is housebroken. Oh, okay, he moves that's from good. the bedroom good. to the we living room. We got our our very first. Um, good morning. Good morning. Our uh, our very first uh, cotton catchy drawing we got from uh, yes. Gigi way back when you were uh, just a child. Just a child, and we still have it hanging. Uh, over the over the the couch in the in the yeah. living room, and uh, Cotton when he was come by, Cotton was like, "There are no more of those," and yeah. so it's it's got some value. Yeah, they do. So your <laughs> cow, your cow is going to have yeah. value. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but something else we're going to be doing through the holidays. We're limited on food tastings and things, but we will be serving our cider that we always serve. We mm. also have our own label of muscadine cider that you can mm. serve. Hot or cold, mm -hmm. you can also put wine in it and put it in the refrigerator <laughs> and make like a slushy. And it's such there a pretty color. They're making me sound <laughs> but some, like something I'm not. Um, <laughs> uh, the one thing I would love to ask everyone to do: a small business now we're limited, yeah. and so uh, getting new clients. So we're on Facebook and we're on Instagram. We also send out a newsletter, which we're going to do weekly with Christmas shopping ideas. And uh, we would love for you to call and give us your email address so we can send that out. We would love for you to like and share us on Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do that for all small businesses to help us get the word out of what we do have. Yeah. And, and so some of your... Um you're going to be doing some in-store events over right. the holiday season. And again, retailers are allowed um, to be at 50% capacity, uh, you know, wear masks and social distance. I know, you know, the governor came out um, this earlier this week, but I don't think that has changed at all. He's just trying to encourage um, uh, smaller gatherings. Right. So, like, I don't know that our board right. is going to be able to meet in person yet. I'm waiting to hear from the Civic Center. Oh, really? Okay. Um, but... So you had talked about doing um, some private shopping parties. So right. Tell us about that. We're encouraging uh, for people to get a group of their girlfriends or boyfriends, if you like, and call us, and, and we will do an evening of shopping. We'll try to make it like a mini open house since we did not have our gigantic open house this year. Yeah. Um, sororities, church circles, girlfriends. Get your girlfriends. Uh, and, we'll yeah. gift wrap. We'll carry it to the car for you. We will have something that you can eat and drink. And um, it might be a little, said, little, you know, little bloody bit. And I think, I, I think <laughs> that there are several retailers that are looking at doing that. And when we talked to Ruth, I, mean, I think I saw that question posed on your Facebook page to do like to do a private no to oh. do a private shopping party oh, yeah. um, and we might yeah. could coordinate that together with oh, some right. other merchants you know yeah, that would be can, great can yeah. what an idea but, cluster cool from idea. one place to the next place yeah, yeah. There you go. but yeah, there's uh, there's just a lot of little things that we can still do we, the someone asked me what I was going to do and I said well we're actually doing the same thing we've always done <laughs> we carry packages out we we run it out to the car. Mm. If you see something on Facebook or you Instagram, can it, yeah. we can ship it. But we can also run it out to your car if you feel uncomfortable coming in. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a lot we can do. We're, yeah. we're looking forward to a pretty good Christmas. And Gigi's really has, <clears throat> you know, art, baby mm. gifts. I mean, when I walk by the window, yeah, your, your baby gifts, gifts. Yeah, the kids' books, gifts are just growing and jewelry. growing. And growing. Women's clothing. I mean, I have several outfits in my closet. Also a wine night. <laughs> that was not. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, I am drinking hot tea right now. <laughs> a, a reputation is building yeah. here. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, um, we truly have a little bit of everything in our store. Our max amount is 54 people. So you're probably not going to run into that any time you're into Gigi's, except mm -hmm. once a year when we do have right. our big open houses. Yeah. And th yeah, that's their that's their 50 percent number. <clears throat> so. Yes, that's right. Oh, Plenty I would like space. to mention one thing. We carry a lot of North, uh, local products, and we have this candle line. It's called Old Oak Market. It's made in Troutman, 
It is oh. the most beautiful. You used mine the other night. Uh, most beautiful. She wasn't drinking. Yep. <laughs> uh, most beautiful line of candles that I've ever seen. I've been yeah, in business 52 years, mm, yeah. and I got excited about these candles. The presentation, the words on them, mm -hmm. uh, it's a solid soy, but we also have a little girl up in Love Valley that's making some great candles. Mm -hmm. uh, we have lots of North Carolina food products, mm -hmm. uh, lots of great Bloody Mary mix, uh, couch mix, uh, cider that's non-alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Well, the mix is non-alcoholic, and you can choose to do with yeah. it what you wish. <laughs> North Carolina popcorn. You know, cinnamon bourbon. Is, cinnamon yes. bourbon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you, know, you guys had put together that fall gift basket. Right. I'm right. assuming that you'll do something similar for right. I'm shipping two baskets um, today, and we just put North Carolina. I, I love selling North Carolina food products and, you know, and promoting our state when I can. We can't find mm -hmm. everything, yeah. but I love the local. We have local jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a new jewelry maker coming in, and she also makes gorgeous collars baby clothes i'm so excited about her because her work is so high quality mm -hmm. and sophisticated mm -hmm. and it's handmade and it's idle county so very nice great. come yeah. see her stuff yes um so when i was using my candle the other night i was also using my cbd <clears throat> bath bomb because i was taking a bath mm -hmm. that i got from native suticles and it was just lovely mm -hmm. lovely lovely no lovely. wine mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> but candles. It was a but it CBD. Was a, it was a yeah. Tuesday night. No. <laughs> there are certain days that are off limits. Oh, and I have to say one more thing, and then I'll, I'll turn it over. <laughs> I've got more questions for you at the okay. end, but yeah. But my granddaughters were in this morning. And I told them I was coming. I'm supposed to do a shout out to Becca and Abby because oh. they're listening to the show, very which good. I was very hey, pleased. <laughs> And, and I let, they need to come see your Christmas lights yes. out here. Yeah, we noticed uh, that yeah, the first help. thing. Yes. Yeah. You've, yeah. Uh, you've already got your Christmas lights oh, up. Oh, we're so festive. <laughs> so we're Love going it. like, oh, well, we have to do something now. Yeah, you, you really absolutely should. absolutely have to. Yeah. Yes. You should do the same thing, and then we'll just light up the square. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Gloria. You're welcome. Um, so, yeah, so we have Adam Dykstra, um, who is with Roots Outdoor. Hi. And excited to have, so Adam is, is actually also a new resident to the Statesville area. So tell us kind of how you have come to be at Roots Outdoors. Um, through Nick Martin. <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> yeah. Like where you've come from and, 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 and uh, why you wanted to come and Yeah, so I, sort of I'm actually from South Dakota. My wife's uh, originally from Mooresville. So that's oh, kind of. I didn't realize she was from Mooresville. Like yeah, that. so and then um, we ended up meeting Nick through a uh, like friend. Um, that uh, organized both of our weddings, Nick and Amy's, and okay. my uh, myself and my wife's. And um, I would worked in the outdoor industry for about 12 years, and then uh, he was just looking for someone to come in and partner with him, and here I am. So well, just worked us. out, worked lucky out. Lucky yeah. us, yeah. So, um, so, and your wife Kaylee. Yep. Is tell us a little bit about her and how how the the new aspect that she brought to to roots. Yeah. Um, so. I mean, d during the day, she's primarily a photographer. She does a, like a, you'll see a lot of updates to our social media and fa our, uh, Facebook yes, really web pages, stuff yeah. like that. So that's kind of that's all her um, brainchild. But she she's worked in coffee for about ten years, and um, you know Nick and Amy had always mentioned that they wanted to have the idea of having just like a local convenience style coffee shop. So if you're shopping already, it's just having like a premium cup of coffee. It just makes it more convenient for everyone there. So uh, it expands the shopping time. Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I mean, if you drink Marketing. a couple of lattes, you know, <laughs> hang out, buy a coat. But they buy more with wine. Yeah, yeah. Forget <laughs> <laughs> that. Uh, uh, so, yeah, no, it, it's that's always been kind of a passion project of hers. And she's always wanted to do her own shop. So, yeah, we uh, we kind of built that out and launched it in about two weeks time from the time we had the idea to. And it's been working great, staying pretty busy and. But like so, tell so it's pour over. Tell people what that is because a lot so, of people yeah, don't we, understand what that is. We were actually originally going to do pour overs, which is just like a like a French press would be considered a pour over, where it's just a longer process, a little more intentional process mm -hmm. of brewing the coffee versus just running water through it in a machine and you know coming out black coffee, which is still fine, but um, it it extracts and pulls flavors out in a different way that's more intentional about the type of coffee you're using mm -hmm. based on where in the world it's from the grind size she's a total so really knowledgeable yeah she will coffee. she will talk your ear off if you want her to i mean don't i would say don't give her the opportunity but if you're trying if you're in a hurry but um 
No, it's, uh, yeah, that's been um, pretty big and we offer like a couple different styles um, and they all filter coffee a different way and yeah. so, yeah. All right, well, so let's talk about some of the, the products that you guys carry sure, at yeah. Roots. So tell everyone if, what they can find when they... Yeah, when yeah they we're shopping. we're bursting at the seams right now. So And we still have some new inventory coming. But yeah, we, I mean, you know, winter coats, jackets, um, we did bring back, um, so what we in the industry call hard goods, which is like snowboards, skis, boots, bindings, um, the product you physically need to use to actually be on the snow. Um, and like up in West Virginia, it looks like they're already getting snow. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be a, a good year, safe but good snow year yeah. in the mountains. Hopefully, if it stays <laughs> there, you know, here I don't mind, but if it's not, but um, no, yeah. So we'll have that and a um, bunch of different brands: Patagonia, North Face, um, Burton, um, Six Eight Six. We did bring in some new brands like Kelly Hansen, a um, little bit more technical outerwear. Um, stuff that I've in my past just had experience with, or I just know the line a little bit more. Um, finite versus it being this huge broad selection when you're picking stuff out you get this massive catalog so it's kind of like you have to kind of know which way to steer the ship otherwise you could end up with $700 coats that just well, sit yeah. there so yeah <laughs> you know so it's yeah being a little bit more intentional about it but I think we have a really good showing yeah pretty excited. So tell everyone about the this the rental business that you guys yeah. do I mean why would why would tell me why and I don't I haven't skied very often mm -hmm. I have one picture from when I think I took my kids up when they were maybe seven nine years old yeah but i'm ready to start going again so why should i what's the benefit of me renting here versus well typically if that? you're at if you're at the hill um it's like it's probably going to be more expensive but usually it's the lines and waiting that okay. takes so long and this year especially with covid with everyone spacing taking more time yeah. running through more processes you're probably going to end up spending half your day waiting in line before you actually get on the hill um, so with us, you can actually come like day of, you can come day before, and we can get all your measurements, get everything set up and just sitting there ready to go waiting. So you can just pick them up right away in the morning and head straight to the hill and not be standing around waiting for anything. So um, yeah, time and cost is probably the biggest. So if factor. I wanted to say rent skis and I wanted to go up on a Saturday morning, mm -hmm. I mean, I would just bring them back a month. When the next day that you're open. Yeah, right? exactly. Yep. So we're going to stay, we're actually going to start opening up um, Sunday afternoons. Okay. And then, um, but we will stay closed on Monday. So yeah, if you, if you, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, just Sunday afternoon, you know, after, you know, church or after yeah, Sunday that's what morning. Gloria was talking about. Yep. She wants, yeah. And she has done that in the past yeah, few years. Yeah, we've done it for yeah. the last few yeah. years, but I think if yeah. we did it as a group and I could oh, tell yeah. people, be sure and go see your right. business. Oh, definitely, yeah. So yeah. That, I think we can feed each Absolutely. other. Absolutely. Definitely. And you know I think that Lake Mountain have to is open it. for on Sundays, and that you yeah. know, there's a there's a reason to that people can come down and, yeah. and shop. So. Well, and then if just, we can do it now instead of waiting till Thanksgiving, it's too late then because people cannot get it yeah. in their head that you're open, open on so. Sundays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. In my experience, it's always one of the things is like kind of your whole family's together usually on a Sunday afternoon, and it's. Sometimes you just want to get out and mm -hmm. see what's going Absolutely, on, and, you yeah. know. So this was kind of an informal board meeting. Uh, to, to discuss <laughs> right, right. 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 Yeah. This is, oh, it makes it so much simpler than yeah. emails. Yeah. 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 I'm sure they get tired of all my emails, right? Like, well, don't hey, get around you didn't to respond to that until one. Over. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, super excited about yeah. um, what you have brought to the to the shop, and 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 you've yeah. taken everything um, online now, right? I mean. Yeah, yeah, our full inventory, um, we rebuilt that um, a while ago pretty intensively. And um, so, yeah, our full inventory is available on our website. Um, we shipped all 50 states, and uh, we offer local pickup, too. Um, you know, I mean, whatever convenience we can offer, um, feel free to call in if you have a special request, anything along those lines. A very similar situation, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. regardless of what uh, what you guys need, we're here as a local shop to help out so but that's interesting that you're you know that you're selling across the country you know? yeah we were just shy of 50, all 50 states yeah. but yeah we've shipped a decent amount of stuff like alaska hawaii all over so it's it's something that in my my previous job i developed a ton of i developed and put forth a ton of time and energy into it personally mm -hmm. um so just being able to have that knowledge and bring it right to it's, it's much easier this time around you yeah. know just to oh, implement absolutely. it versus yeah. having to spend hours learning it yeah. so yeah that's exciting. i bet one of the things that you ship a lot of is the patagonia because oh, anyone yeah. that has a teenager mm -hmm. you know, perfect gift if i don't have it but my grandchildren want patagonia for christmas yeah. and so yeah. that's great to know you can buy it local yeah and, yeah um, 
definitely you know yeah and it's it's that's a thing for us too is it's like uh no matter where we're shipping we still you're still supporting a local shop right, same absolutely. concept and that's like kind of our biggest priority is making sure we don't sure the need community. local people going online and ordering it unless yeah they're ordering it from someone local. yeah exactly <laughs> right, yeah, right, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> shop local even if it's online we always say right. che yeah check locally and mm -hmm. then if you can't find anything locally then it's kind of start like making the radius bigger you know like slowly but yeah so um anything special that you guys are planning for the holiday i know that i had I'd mentioned earlier i saw on facebook that there was that question posed to the public about hey would you be interested in in private parties yeah i mean i mean if people are interested in that how are you is that something you're going to put out there you know to we we probably i mean um we probably won't push necessarily that but if people are interested i mean we'd be more than happy to set down like a you know a specific time for them that makes them feel comfortable in the store i mean that would not be a problem for us yeah. at all um we'll probably be doing um more gear just because our our online is so seamless so it's just like you can and we've had already had a, a bunch of local customers you can just purchase it online and we just say hey we can either if you're com not comfortable coming down the store we can ship it to you no problem because mm -hmm. um, we offer free shipping over 59 bucks so if you buy like a coat that's over that i mean it doesn't matter if you're a block yeah. away or yeah. 200 miles you know so it's having that convenience for everyone to try and make it as easy as possible you can locally pick it up you can come in the store and shop um or you can't or we can ship it to you and then so. you've got the new um the what do we call it? I call it the loft. Oh yeah, we have a we have a clearance cave. Clearance, clearance loft. Cave. We haven't decided on a name <laughs> yet. We're loft. A clearance attic. I don't know. Um, but there's some good stuff up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all it's all brand new product. It's just past season. That's mm -hmm. you know the style didn't carry forward or yeah. different color styles. But so yeah. go in and check it out. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, I guess I just wanted to talk about if you guys can say a few words about how important the. Um, the holiday season is for retailers. I mean, how does that impact your your year as a whole? Well, <laughs> in, in my in time, let's say in a normal year. In a, I mean, I in a normal a, year, mm -hmm. I haven't read the stats in a long time. I'm a small business person, so we ignore intellectual things. <laughs> <laughs> but the stats, well, just busy, just but I would say, yes, uh, sixty percent of your business is done in mm -hmm. the last two months of the year. Wow! And so that's why sixty percent so of your yearly year, sales. Yep, yeah. that carries over. That would carry over. And I don't think ours too. are that now, but I mean that's been true in the past. Yeah. But that's when you make it or break it. Mm -hmm. That means you know whether you're going to right. go into another year. Yeah. Or not. But yeah. I mean, it's just very important that we somehow get the people aware of that. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, I go back to the Patagonia. I mean, everybody has had to go out of town to shop for that, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. And there's no need. And, and if I look at any of my family, there's Patagonia. They're not all from Stacey, but they're all wearing it. Yeah. So, you know, my grandchildren now will wear it from there mm -hmm. if I have to buy it. Mm -hmm. You know, but... Um, yeah, so it is just critical that we critical. educate... Supporting local, yeah. Um, yeah, to, yeah, to shop local and support local because... Um, if we don't, they might not be here. Yeah, you know? yeah and, and I think the retailers I, I already like you a lot <laughs> because you're just, you know what it takes. It's a intimate business. Mm. It is the most intimate business, I think, in, in the world because mm -hmm. you know your customers and you build customers and you come to love them. And I'm at the stage now, I'm on like great-grandchildren mm -hmm. from when I started. I knew the mothers, I knew all their children. and. Yep. And now someone will come in and says, my grandmother or my great-grandmother was shopped with you. And I'm going like, no, she did not. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> but, I mean, yes, the, that's what a small town is. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, and, and we do lots for the community. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody asks you to donate. We support the Fifth Street. We support mm -hmm. any need. Mm -hmm. um, anything that the community asks us to do, we try to do in some way. Yeah. That's small business. Mm -hmm. Well, that's okay. a, it's the type of community where someone might come in that you've been helping for years and they don't even, they just say, I need a coat and you know exactly what to go grab Absolutely. off the rack because yeah. you know what they're interested in and what their style is because yeah that that history is there you know and, and don't you just love it oh yeah yeah see you very fulfilling very fulfilling we yeah. even love billy Doug. Yeah. <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> no one knows why that. that's right 
Yes. He loves you show too, this? apparently. Yeah, show, yes. yeah, show yes. this. Show this to that the was show. During, that was uh, uh, for Gloria's 75th, 75th, 75th birthday. birthday. He knows his place. Yeah. So and I was kneeling before the queen. August or was it August? <laughs> it was August, yeah. It was a hot day. <laughs> it was very I, I warm do out. know my place. <laughs> yes. so. Well, uh, I am just thrilled to have you guys. And we really, one thing that we're trying to work on as downtown Statesville is to educate the public as, about what what can be found in downtown Statesville. I mean, it is just a, a, a plethora of beautiful gift ideas and things that you can that you can shop for you, locally. And unique, and mm -hmm. local exactly. unique quality. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you so, know, just like definitely. this, I walked into this when I was telling Billy Buck that one of my bucket, things on my bucket list, I have two, one is to eat outside at the tables and a nice day. I've never got to do that. <laughs> in downtown, <laughs> outside of her shop. Which yes, she's, yes, 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 yes. I'm to, like, we could have taken care of that. And, and the <laughs> other thing is to come over here and listen to live music mm -hmm. on Wednesday nights and listen to Danny Wicker. I mean, that truly is something I really want to do, and I'm going to make that happen this year. Okay. This year. Yeah. So. You better do it this next week. Okay. Yes. Next, busy, uh, right? yeah. Yeah. We'll next Wednesday night, we got, I'm sorry, we got Clay Lunsford coming in with us oh, next Wednesday night. Well, Clay plays at my store, friends. and I talked yeah. to him yeah. Sunday, and he said, you just call me anything you need. So one of our books on is something. Clay will be there playing. Very cool. We might bring some other, P, uh, sometimes JP uh, Van Hoy comes. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm just, we have a plethora. Yeah. Oh, what a great word. It is word. a big word. I, I, I like had to think word. for a minute plethora. before I said uh, look, it and make sure I But you know, it the thing yeah. about my open house, which last year was my 50th anniversary, mm. the guys that have played for my, mm. my open houses all this year, they love it. They look forward to it. People in the community, it launches their Christmas. Mm -hmm. But the guys are disappointed. It does feel like the beginning of Christmas. It does. Yeah. 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 I was like, Laura, are we doing anything? Are we doing anything? Because it, <laughs> yeah. you know. And there's something. I worked in downtown when I was in um, high school, and I remember Christmas, and I always say I remember the Salvation Army bell ringing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And the lights and things, and it was magical mm -hmm. and and we've gotten some of that back with some of the things <laughs> that's right. happened and it's mm -hmm. it's different than a mall it's really a small town's different than anywhere because it's just the camaraderie and when we do mm -hmm. have events like the wine walk and the art beer crawl. festival the art crawls mm -hmm. i love watching the people because even if they don't know each other they engage in conversation mm -hmm. and it's it's just a really happy my store is a happy store i know your mm -hmm. store is a happy yeah, store yeah, definitely. and downtown it, downtown is a happy place yeah. Yeah. I, I love it that is. it's a happy place yes yes it is the ga it's kind of like that third gathering place it's everybody's neighborhood right yes. mm -hmm. um well thank you and we do have some things coming up um this weekend that i wanted to share i don't know how much time we have left all the time you want. Okay. Um, so, uh, let's see. Something new that's happening this weekend is, um, let me see, it's on our calendar at downtownstatesville.com. On the calendar at downtownstatesville.com. I have it, I have it, I have it, um, that I thought was interesting. Brunch in Mimosas. Oh. So this is yes. a partnership between Fourth Creek Brewing and Broad Street Bistro. Oh, cool. oh excellent. So, yeah, so um, they're going to be having, um, uh, it's $15, uh, it's brunch and then $15 Mimosa Crafts. So I thought that was a, a great um, kind of partnership over there, and that's on uh, November 15th. Okay. What day is that? That would be Sunday. So Sunday. So yes. see, are y'all going to be open this Sunday? <laughs> People could do that, and they well, go. There you go. We either start in this Sunday, the next day. We have yeah. served mimosas at times too. Yes. Um, and yeah. so the other thing that I wanted to share that was new that came out <laughs> yesterday was Ardell Museums is going to be reopening. Oh, really? Oh. Yes. Excellent. So um, they will be opening on November 28th. You know, for a, 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 That's a, a kind of yeah. for, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> for kind of a small space, they have a lot of they things do. inside they there. So in that again, there it's going to be um, limited hours, but um, and capacity, but they are um, going to be doing some new things over there. So Beautiful. excited um, for that to be happening, and just the events that we're we're planning for the holiday season. Um, we're still trying to do things. Um, we know we can't go all out like we've done in the past because of covid but we are planning carriage rides um, mm -hmm. and we'll be sharing how that's going to work uh, in the next week um, but what we'll be doing is is selling the carriage as a as a whole to a group 
Mm. Oh, I see. Makes yeah. sense. So that way, and we'll be pre-selling them online. So we're going to give everyone a, a lot of advance notice and then let them know when they'll be going on sale. Actually, I like that better because I have spent many a freezing night <laughs> waiting for that carriage to come by. Mm. <laughs> well, so yeah, so we're doing that. And we're still working on the, um, that'll be, um, th so the tree lighting will be happening Thursday, December 3rd. And um, that'll happen. We're putting the Christmas tree in front of the Old County Courthouse. Excellent. And um, cool. John Childress and his family are going on the excursion to go get the tree and bring it back for us. And then we'll be decorating it with the assistance of Keith Ryan uh, this year. Oh, so, yes. so excited to not have to be up and down a ladder. Um, and, and so we'll have carriage rides on that night as well as Friday night for the shop and stroll. So shops Excellent. will be open late on both of those evenings. Um, and then, of course, we'll be promoting all the other great stuff that everyone has going on. So, mm -hmm. And next week we will start on um, social media our promoting our countdown to Christmas. It's going to be a holiday gift guide just to kind of show people some right. of the things that can be purchased in downtown. And Sounds continually great. Continually reminding them. So thank That's you good. so much. And check us out at downtownstatesville.com. Sounds good. Thank you, Marin Tomlin. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you both. Yeah. Very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Hi, this is Marin Tomlin. Join us twice a month for Downtown on Tap. This community talk segment will air every other Thursday at 10 a.m. and is proudly brought to you by the team at Downtown Statesville Development Corporation. Downtown on Tap will highlight all the amazing businesses, events, organizations, people.